My name is Mark Pearson and I am the president of Local 2428, which is representative of the employees of the East Bay Regional Park District, covering over 65 parks in Alameda and Contra Costa County. Uh, my job at the Park District itself is the Park Supervisor of Garen and Dry Creek Pioneer Regional Parks, which is the Hayward Hills leading down to Niles Canyon along Mission Boulevard. It's about uh, 7,000 acres. Um, I oversee general park maintenance, improvements, and the like. So I'm pretty much responsible for everything um, as far as documenting pay, work done, making assignments, uh, working alongside my crew. What we are, uh, we do everything in the park district. We have firefighters, we have rangers, that's the largest group, probably over 200 of the 600 members are rangers. We have various types of scientific type mines, so you have biologists and geologists and all that. Um, we have people in planning and design who actually plan the new parks, design the new parks. All our people in finance are part of the union, so we do a lot. But what's important about East Bay Parks is we are the first original special district in the United States. We started right in the heart of the Depression in 1934 when people voted to tax themselves to create this agency to preserve the hills that they realized were going to be threatened as they saw would happen in other communities and wanted to protect that here. So the Park District really reaches deeply into the consciousness, I think, of the citizens, especially of the East Bay. I think a lot of people across the United States <clears throat> have a reason to be concerned about what could happen in the upcoming nomination for the Superior Supreme Court. I mean, are we going to lose our bargaining rights? It's quite possible we will. And thinking about it, usually late at night trying to fall asleep, I think that throws us all the way back to the Gilded Age in the 1880s. So it's really, in an odd way, it can be an extraordinary opportunity. I don't like what's coming but I'm not going to cry about it. I'm going to say, okay, what's the opportunity here? How many people are going to become disenfranchised who've never been disenfranchised before? How many people who voted for the current administration are going to turn around and realize they've made a mistake? How do we reach out to them so that in the next 4, 8, 12, or God will help us, 16 years from now, we finally get back to where we were? And that's, and that's what we have to do. My name is Mark Pearson. I'm the president of Local 2428, and we never quit.